Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I so a while ago <laughs> I actually won the Dyson Corral straightener in a giveaway. Let me pick it up. I won this in a giveaway and it was a giveaway that Dyson was doing with Allegra Shaw. She's a Toronto based like influencer. And as you guys know, I predominantly and always wear my hair curly. But I have worn it straight in the past. So I charged this puppy up. This is the base that it comes with. She is heavy. Look at that. She's a beaut. So this is the case that I'm just gonna sit her on. And I was like, hey, I haven't worn my hair straight. I haven't tested the straightener yet, and I probably should. So I think maybe the video that you're gonna see before this, you would have seen that I picked up the curling styling kit that Gizu had that was available on Sephora a while back. It's not available now, but it came with three products to do your hair. So it comes with the heat protectant, which I'm really excited to try. It also comes with the, oh, by the way, the heat protectant is 50 milliliters. Um, it comes with a full size of the Propolis infused polishing primer. This is the full 75 milliliter, so that's exciting. And then it comes with the 50 mil of the Gizu Honey Hair Oil. I have I have owned two of the full size in the past, owned one of these before, and it is amazing. Um, it is expensive, but honestly, it's it really, really does make your hair look great. Like if you use it consistently, you will notice a difference from straight hair to wavy hair to curly hair to coily hair. It is actually very good. My hair is very curly and I'm actually going to be styling my hair. So I'm going to blow dry it and then I'm going to use a straightener to give myself like tousled beachy waves. We'll see. I'm not the greatest at using like these products because I don't wear my hair like that. I forgot to mention that I washed my hair with the Gizu shampoo and conditioner that had been sent to me like last year before they launched in Sephora. I think I mentioned this in a video before. So I'm just gonna take this, this is the Rosarico spray and I'm gonna, I always put leave it in my hair even though I'm wearing my hair straight. So I feel like since I haven't worn my hair straight in so long, I kind of feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna put leave in into each of these four sections and then I'm going to spray them with some heat protectant. And my hair is still wet, which is kind of what I want. And I'm working through the leave-in through my hair. As you can see, I sprayed the focus of the leave-in at my ends and then up the mid shaft because I want my hair to be evenly coated. So I guess this has ultimately become a review of the, of the Gizu products and the Dyson Corral. I feel like that's, I feel like that's what's happening here. Like that's, that's what's going on. So that's what we're gonna do. And we'll see how this turns out. Just, I always make sure that my ends get sprayed and I work it through with my hands on damp fingers, comb it through with my wedgie comb. As you can see, my hair was detangled. <laughs> previously before I started this because that's what we want. We want nice detangled hair. So now that we have leave-in in our hair and our four little sections, I'm going to look at this. Okay, so heat protectant goes on first and apparently you can take this and run it through, you warm it up and then you can work it through damp or dry hair because this is apparently supposed to help with the styling. So I'm going to spray the sections. So I'm just going to take them down again from what I just did. I've never, oh, I'm untwisting it and not taking the cap off. That's smart. I got a bunch of it on my hand. <laughs> Great. Oh, okay. oh, it smells nice. And I'm going to spray. I'm focusing it like through my hair. I'm not going to weigh my hair down with it, obviously, but I am going to comb it through because I want my hair to be as protected as possible. Because heat styling your hair is, especially if you're going to be making it straight and doing any kind of manipulation to your hair, you have to make sure that your hair is properly coated and protected so that you can make sure that you're doing everything you can to protect your hair. 
and that's why I like to um, apply it to my hair and then twist it back up so that I can evenly say that every single section of my hair was evenly coated. Um, so that's just a tip that I would say if you're going to be heat styling and to make sure that your ends have it and make sure that everything is really nice. Like I know I'm taking forever to get to the styling part, but I'm I'm honestly saying make sure that when you are doing this that you make sure your hair is protected. This one is a really nice mist and I like the way it smells because it obviously has the honey inside of it from which, which is what Gizu was known for. So I love that. And this was, this smells so good. If this works out, I'm definitely gonna buy the bigger size. But this is the full size primer. So you're supposed to work a pea size amount into the palms of your hand, rub it together and work it through your damp hair. I'm gonna apply some of this. I'll show you guys me. So you can use the cap of this to push this to open it. And I'm gonna take a little bit and show you guys. Speed through this and start blow drying because we already know that this is taking a while. Like a pea size amount apparently. So like, it's like a pea size. Warm it up and then apparently you spread it through the hair. And this is supposed to also act in the styling process once your hair is actually dry. So that's what that does. In all honesty, it actually makes my curls look nice, but we're going for straight hair today, guys. Straight hair. We are going to be testing these products out. All right, let's do this. So right off the bat, that, I don't know what sorcery this is, <laughs> but um, I don't know what, like I said, what sorcery this is. I just dried that section in no time. That is, I am, I, I'm sorry, I've never, I've never dried my hair this fast. Like, and my hair is really soft. I don't know if you can, you can't see that my hair is soft, but it feels amazing. This. This is really good. I don't. <laughs> oh no, I think I love it. I'm gonna finish blow drying my hair and come back when it's actually finished blow dried, and then we will get to using the straightener. That's what you're all here for. Let's get to it, okay? The attachments are all magnetic, and the plates are flexible, which is so cool to me. So it has an O an O an O LED screen, which displays the battery level on the side, and then it's suitable for all hair types, going from 303 degrees. 330 wow degrees Fahrenheit to 410 um, I'll convert that into Celsius here since I'm Canadian but I'm just reading it off the site and then it also it can be used for up to 30 minutes cordless for styling and then you can put the cord in to have your hair style for longer there was an auto sh shut off and safety switch and even ready to travel it's a universal voltage and flight ready feature where you can like pull the pin out of it so that the battery doesn't work and then um, it's safe to travel with so the technology behind the Dyson Corral is that it has flexing copper plates for half the damage. It has intelligent heat control and then a four cell lithium ion battery. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So what I have it right now is I have it not corded. I'm, I know it's gonna take me longer than 30 minutes to do my hair, but I wanted to test it. But what I can say is that she is heavy. She is a weighty flat iron. Like she feels like she has some weight to her. So as you can see, she's shut right now. So if you slide this button, it releases it and opens it up. This is that flight section I was talking about where you can pull that out. And then this is the screen. So if I turn it on, I've never used this before, so this should be interesting. Oh, <laughs> so it shows that the battery is charged. And then it, I, it even shows you a little guide of to push the buttons to turn on the heat. So like I, oh, Okay, so it goes from 165 to 185 to 210. So I'm gonna keep it at 185. I, I'm assuming this means it's heating up, but I'm just gonna sit it down and let it do its thing while it heats up to do my hair. And once she's ready, we'll get going. But I'm gonna section my hair this way because I always see everyone do it like this to like help with it. So we're gonna see how this works. I know I'm going to need more than 30 minutes to style my hair since I haven't done this in so long. The primer apparently is supposed to help with 
um, your hair kind of staying like in it and don't worry that's not my hair burning or smoking that is actually just the product and I'm trying to oh okay oh okay it's kind of pretty that's kind of pretty what do we think it's quite shiny so <laughs> I guess that means that my hair is in relatively good condition that was a pretty big piece I just did because I'm not used to having it like I'm not used to doing my hair like this like at all so this is a this is a real struggle for me because I am I have no idea what I'm doing I'm supposed to like glide it through glide it did that glide is that a glide guys okay I feel like this is gonna be hilarious of me trying to and you're supposed to do it in like different directions for your hair oh see <laughs> oh my god of course of course I'm going to have so much difficulty <laughs> with this because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's let's continue doing the hair and see how it turns out. I feel like I'm just going to have like loose waves because my hair doesn't hold a curl well at all. So let's speed this up. Styling your hair in a viewfinder is hard. I don't know how you guys do this, but this is my hair so far. Like it's, I think it's turning out okay. I now took it off the cord so that I could just like use it without it. But if you need more time because the battery now is already kind of at half, you would need to keep it corded. Keeping it corded obviously will help me keep doing my hair so I can talk to you guys and I'm using my comb just to comb through my hair so that I can get a smooth kind of thing going on here and then I just kind of like let it go I find that because the plates are flexible my hair seems to kind of move with the plates which is a plus so this section of hair here so I'm gonna do this side and hopefully it looks good um, cause I don't know what I'm doing, but what I can say is that overall, it's actually quite easy to use. I'm kind of running it through a little bit so I can turn it this way and kind of glide the straightener through to kind of so like that one goes back and then this one I'm going to do going forward and like twirl it. I think I'm going to look like Farrah Fawcett a little bit. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, let's do the next side. Okay, so that's... Now what you're supposed to do next is go in with the Gizu hair oil, which I love and I've used multiple times before. And you're supposed to take a bit of it. I'm going to take more than just a bit because my hair literally like loves this stuff. And I can put a little bit more. My hair is quite... But as you can see, I think it looks relatively good. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to run it through the ends of my hair, kind of breaking up this little like wave thing I kind of created and <laughs> combing out with my fingers oh okay overall I would say that the Gizu products worked beautifully in my hair the Dyson Corral is actually really really cool and I think my hair looks really good let me know if any of you have used the Dyson Corral or any Gizu products I'll keep everything linked down below in the down bar of where I got everything or where it is available and I'll see you in the next one Bye, guys.